Hello and welcome. It's a gentle lateral opening flow for you today. Um, so take it easy yogis and settle into a seat. We'll just begin with a little breathing practice. Make sure that your seat is slightly raised. I quite like to lift mine up on a, a folded towel like a bolster, anything you need. Just so you lift up through the pelvis and that the spine can start to elongate, lengthen through the crown of the head, crown and tail aligned, chin parallel to the floor. And rest the palms, back of the hands onto the knees. It's a morning practice, one that's gonna wake us up for the day. Take a moment to close the eyes and find yourself into this space and place of time, into the present moment, into now. Settle down through the weight of your legs and the bowl of your pelvis. And then start to feel the upward moving motion from your lowest lumbar vertebrae up through the lumbar curve, through the front of the spine, the heart lifts, the collarbones are buoyant and the shoulders rest down the back. The back of the neck lengthens and the jaw releases and the teeth part. The eyes are gently closed, turning our awareness inwards, becoming present for our practice. And sense and feel into the quality of your breath. Notice what you've brought to practice with you today. Is the breath long and smooth or jagged or uneven? And just having that intention to keep the breath long, smooth, continuous, with a little bit of ujjayi application of the breath, just softly closing the throat so you hear the whispering sound of the breath as it reverberates through the throat. And just notice any particular mood, any tensions. And maybe breathing in for five or six counts and breathing out for five or six counts. You know, the breath should be comfortable but lengthened. So if four is good for you, four is right. Listen inwards. Just letting our body, mind, spirit, know that we're in preparation for practice to begin to move today and softly bow in the chin bring the hands into prayer and just take a moment to set your intention for the day for your practice and softly lift the chin namaste Reach the arms down by the side body, spine super tall, then rotate the palms to the ceiling and inhale, come all the way up. Drop your right hand to the floor and as you exhale, lean over. Breathe in, lengthen there. And then as you exhale, reach that left arm out. Inhale, come up with the right. Go tall through the right side and exhale over. Breathe in tall. 
both arms come up and as you exhale draw the navel back keep the shoulders in line take a breath in to that left lung and then reach to the sky and take one more just opening up through the rib cage, creating length from armpits to outer hips and exhale, draw the arms down by the side body. Inhale, draw the shoulders up to the ears and exhale, squeeze the upper, middle, lower shoulder blades together. Breathing in, reach up. Exhale, squeeze upper, middle, lower shoulder blades together. One more. It's really opening the breath. And let's take some rotations through the wrist. Any clicks or clunks. And then change direction. Just freeing up the wrist joints. Little carpals in the wrists. And spread and close the palms. Just opening up through the peripherals of the body. Drawing in prana an awakening to the day. Beautiful. And then all we're going to do is make our way into all fours. So finding our way to all fours. Let's have the wrist a little further in front of the hair for line fraction in front of the wrist. And then just slightly turn the hands out. So you spread the hands, you spread the thumbs away from the little fingers. Draw the navel back off of the front of your trousers and lengthen from the crown of the head to the tail. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And we're going to slowly, just a little cat and cow, tailbone lift. You lengthen the front body as you inhale. And as you exhale, you draw the navel in. The chin comes in, chin comes to chest. And there's a connection between crown and tail. And then inhale again, roll and open the front spine. Be cautious of throwing your head back. Keep your neck long. And exhale round. It's a vinyasa, so move with the rhythm of your breath. Inhaling to open the front body. And exhale, draw in the navel all the way back towards the spine. Let's add a little bit in now, Chakra Vakrasana. Inhale, open the front body. And exhale, draw the navel in round the spine and sit the bottom onto the heels. Keep the hands where they are so you get this beautiful stretch through the shoulders. And then inhale, rise up once more. Three of these, exhale, round the spine, keep rooted through thumb and index finger. Draw the navel in, tailbone down to the heels. One more, inhale, rise up. And exhale, softly and gently draw the navel back. We're going to do three with the toes tucked under now, so inhale, come up. Tuck under the toes, stretch you through the soles of the feet, and as you exhale, round the spine. Sit back. Two more. Breathe in, open up. Start to feel the breath moving. Opening up through the channels, the nadis through the body. Awakening the spine. This time as you push into the hands, just lift the knees a fraction. Pop them down. Inhale, come all the way back up. Down dog. As you exhale, draw the navel in and ease yourself back into your downward facing dog. Make sure the balls of the feet are onto the floor so you get this stretch through the plantar fascia, the soles of the feet. Take an extra breath. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the back body, taking the upper thighs back. Now three into down dog. Inhale, coming in, down. Chest opens. Exhale, draw the navel in, bottom to heels, and rise up into your downward facing dog. Two more. Inhale, knees down. Front body lengthens. 
Exhale, round the spine, bottom to heel. Send the tailbone back, stretch through the backs of the legs. Make sure the head is released. Last one, inhale, coming down. Really coordinating the movement with the quality of breath. Pause there, have a little look at your hands, make sure your fingers are spread. Drop the chin in to look between the soles of the feet, bend the knees, take the tailbone back. Take a nice deep breath in. Fill the canopy of the lungs as you exhale, draw the navel in. And then we're going to bend the right knee and send the left heel down towards the floor. Think about the inner left thigh spiraling to the wall behind you. Inhale, swap as you exhale, right heel goes down, left knee bends. Really think about taking the weight in your legs and not in your shoulders. Suck the navel in, tailbone reaches back, then inhale, come to the balls of both feet. Exhale, bend the knees and slowly straighten through the backs of the legs. Feel the flow of your breath. Inhale, come to balls of feet and slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Come up onto your fingertips, lengthen up through the spine and as you exhale, fold down. Three of these. Inhale, bend the knees slightly, lengthen through the front body, go long. And as you exhale, there's a little push down into the hands and away to get a traction. Inhale, go long through front body. Cautious of throwing the head up. You really want the spine to be long as you exhale. Bend the knees, take the hands to the hips. Lengthen up through the spine. So you lead with the heart, squeezing the elbows and inhale, rise all the way up. Touch the palms and exhale, bring the hands all the way down to the heart all the way down as you come into Tadasana. Make sure the inside edges of the feet are pointing forwards. Lift the shoulders and exhale, roll the shoulders down the back. Take a moment, feeling connected to the earth through the balls of the big toes, little toes, inside and outside edges of the heels. There's a micro bend in the knees so the tailbone can drop down. Just a couple of Surya Namaskars to wake us up this morning. So inhale, bring the hands into prayer. Exhale. Inhale, lift the arms. Keep the hips back so you really lengthen and open in the upper back. And as you exhale, palms come forwards. As you exhale, fold into your forward bend. Take the right leg to the back of the mat, drop the right knee, left knee over left ankle as you inhale and lift the heart. And as you exhale, tuck under the right toe and push all the way back into plank. Take an extra breath here. And as you exhale, take the knees to the floor, elbows come in, shift forwards, pelvis down, belly, bow to the earth. Your shoulders away from ears as you inhale, lengthen the front body, legs are active. And as you exhale, tuck under your toes and push all the way back into a down dog. Inhale, step the right foot to the right thumb as you come into your ekapada, your lunge. Exhale, step the left foot forwards as you fold, Uttanasana. Sit the bottom down. Reach out in front and inhale, tailbone down, lengthen through front body. And as you exhale, come all the way down back to Tadasana, left side. Inhale, namaste. Exhale, settle and ground. Inner thigh spiral back. As you inhale, it's really like an upper back bend. Lower back stays long and stable. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Left leg steps back, left knee drops as you inhale, like a powder. Exhale, step back to plank. Keep exhaling, knees, chest, chin, or quadriceps, pelvis, soft under, belly lowers. Legs active, 
Elbows together as you inhale, lengthen front body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg steps forward as you inhale, like a batter. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. Sit down, reach out in front, inhale, come all the way up, Uttita Hasta, as you exhale. Tadasana. One round each side, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift up, open up. Exhale, palms forwards, fold forwards, Uttanasana, chin in. Right leg steps back into a lunge, making sure that left knee, left ankle are beautifully aligned. Exhale, step back, plank. Keep exhaling, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, Bhujangasana. As you exhale, tuck under the toes, push back, downward facing dog. Right leg steps forwards as you inhale. Exhale, step forwards with the left leg, softness in the knee, nose to shins. Sit down, reach out, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Namaste. Exhale, forearms parallel to the earth. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forwards, hands in line with feet. Left leg steps back and left knee drops as you inhale into Ekapada. Exhale into plank and keep exhaling, knees, chest, chin, thighs, pelvis, whatever feels good that you can control. Inhale, let the breath move you. And as you exhale, move back into your downward facing dog. Left leg comes forwards into Ekapada. Inhale. And exhale, step forwards, Uttanasana. Sit the bottom down a little. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale. Tadasana. Let's take three breaths here in Tadasana. Standing at the front of your mat. Stretching out through the toes. Take the hands to the hips. We're coming into a little balance. So drop your gaze onto the floor, your Dhristi. Standing to your left foot and bring your right knee up towards your chest and take your right knee out to the side. Now the foot could toe can go to the floor if that's more stable for you or foot to the calf, never ever on the knee or up into the groin. And you wanna find this connection between heel and left um, humerus bones. So you've gotta push the bone into the heel. It's a little squeeze of the right glutes and bring the elbows into the side body. And as you exhale, take the hands away from each other and as you inhale, turn the palms towards the back wall and steady with the breath. Let's take three full breaths, breathe in. And exhale, can you push the right thigh bone into the, the left thigh bone into the right heel a little bit? Use the glute muscles, stabilize you, and keep the weight even through the standing leg. As you exhale, bring the hands down into prayer. And place the right ankle just above the left knee. We're going down into a little squat to open up through the outside edge of the right hip. Steady with the breath here. Inhale, come up and cross this right leg all the way over the left. 
So now the legs are crossed, the inner thighs are crossed, hands to hips, breathing go long. And as you exhale, fold forwards into a forward bend. Drop the fingertips to the floor and then walk your hands towards the right. And as you do, just sense into this left side body, into the left ribs, into the outer left hip. Stay with the quality of your breath, smooth, long and continuous. And then slowly bring your hands all the way back to center. Pause there for a moment. And then we're just going to take another little movement here. So what I want you to think about doing your left leg, that's the leg that's behind, lift the heel towards the bottom and drop the left knee to the very center of the mat. And take the left foot out to the right and sit down onto your bottom. And so you're now coming into um, the twisting pose. So if you're really uneven here, feel free to straighten the underneath leg, whatever is working for you. And we're gonna twist to the right. So we're twisting towards the leg that is in bent position with the knee towards the ceiling. So inhale, take the left arm up. And as you exhale, hook the left arm over the right knee and take the right fingertips behind. Be cautious of sinking here, really lift up the spine. You may need to sit onto something. Take a nice deep breath in as you lengthen. And as you exhale, draw the navel in and twist the navel to the right. Each exhale, can we draw navel in and twist to the right. Then just look towards the front of your mat. So the lower body navel is in rotation, thoracic spine in rotation to the right, but the cervical spine of the neck is rotating left. And then slowly let's inhale, come all the way back to center. Take the hands forwards. Drop the right knee in between the hands and stretch the left leg out to the end of the mat. So you come into a, like a, a little pigeon. Tuck under the left toes, drop the left side of the pelvis and scoop the belly in and drop the tailbone down. So you really start to lengthen through the front body. Really push out through that left heel and then drop the knee and turn the toes out. Put a little flex in the front foot and simply lie over that front leg. You can bring and stack the forearms and rest the forehead to the knee if you wish to. Just opening through this right side, outer right hip. Place the hands down onto the floor, tuck under the left toe, scoop up through your belly and inhale the right leg back into a split dog. Inner right thigh spiraling to the ceiling and right toes pointing to the floor. And then exhale, take the right foot down, you're back into your downward facing dog. Breathe in, really lengthen the spine and bellow the canopy of the lungs at the back body. As you exhale, can you draw your lower ribs in a little bit more? Draw the navel in. And think about taking the upper thigh bones back. Inhale, come to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look between your hands. And at the end of exhale, float the feet forwards. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. Keep the back of the neck long and exhale, fold down more deeply into a forward bend. Sweep the arms back, inhale, lead with the heart, come up a little tiny back bend again before you exhale the hands back into prayer. Take a moment to stabilize. 
pick your drishti as we move to the left side, stand into the right foot, be cautious, be really cautious of sticking that hip out, you've got to really suck that thigh in when you come into your um, tree pose, so it's either foot to the floor, to the calf, never on the knee, or up into the groins. And so commonly is this is what happens. So can you push back, send that knee out, and then you've got to use the glutes. So just squeeze that space at the top of your hamstrings or where your hamstrings and your buttocks meet. Elbows into side body. Exhale, open, feel your shoulder blades squeeze. And inhale, turn your palms to the back wall. And breathe. Three, four complete breaths. Keep pushing that right thigh into the left heel. Keep easing through the buttocks. The more you squeeze the left buttock, the more opening you'll have on the inner left thigh. As you exhale, bring the hands back to prayer. Pop the left heel over the right knee. Come down into a little squat, opening the outer left hip. Stick the bum out. Stay nice and focused. Slowly come up and slide, cross that left leg all the way over the right. Hands to hips, breathe in. As you exhale, fold into your forward bend. Really try to root down through the big toes and then walk your hands to the left. Feel the lateral opening through the right side body into the right lungs. Really breathing so each one of those intercostal muscles can part, improving the functionality of the breath and at the same time ungluing those outer hips. And then slowly walk the hands back to center. Inhale, go long. And then this is where we come down into a seated pose. So right knee goes to the middle of the mat, right foot out to the left. Sit the bottom down as you come into your twist. Make sure this left leg that's come over, don't let the ball of the toe come up. Really make sure that ball of the foot stays down. If this isn't right for your hips, straighten the underneath leg. And again, don't dip into the lower back. Really lengthen. If you need something to sit on, this just really helps you to come out of the lower back. Inhale, reach up with the right arm. And as you exhale, draw the navel back and spin it to the left as you place the left elbow over the right left, the right elbow over the light, right left knee. Fingertips behind. Inhale, go long and tall. And as you exhale, think about first of all, lifting pelvic floor spiraling navel, spiraling heart, spiraling left shoulder and then look over left shoulder. Inhale, let the breath come all the way up through the tallness of the spine through the crown of the head and exhale, think about activating the inner body as you find the twist. Then you can look over towards the front of the mat and here really feel like this right shoulder is moving away from the midline of the spine and the left shoulder is moving closer towards the spine. Slowly inhale and curl. And the left foot in. Now the left knee is going directly into the middle of the mat. So it's not a big wide pigeon like sometimes we do. And then stretch the right leg back. Tuck under the right toe and make sure the pelvis is even, you're not falling over to one side or the other. Tuck under the right toe, think about the inner right thigh lifting. Exhale, draw the navel in, drop the telly and then lengthen out through the front bone like an uncoiling from the pubic bone, navel and heart. Again, don't chuck the head back. Think about length in the back of the neck. Push out through the right heel and then place the right knee down. Lengthen through the toes. Breathe in. Slowly, keep reaching out through that back leg. Come on to forearms. 
and settle here with the breath. Opening through that outer left hip. in a sweet and juicy way, rather than really pushing past your edge. Just stay with that. Nice, easy, gentle opening. And then slowly sit onto the left buttock and then open up. So look, I'm just opening up towards you push out through that right heel and bring that left foot into the groin. You could take your folded blanket um, or towel, whatever you're using, maybe it's a brick or two, and pop it underneath your bottom. So again, it just gives us this beautiful length. Right foot is active and the inner right thigh is spiraling down towards the floor. And get comfortable, make sure that both sit bones are grounded. Inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, twist towards your bent knee. Take your left hand onto your left lower back. Breathe in, go long through the right. And as you exhale, place the back of the right hand on the inside of the right knee. So you really want to keep this rotation. You're rotating your navel towards your bent knee. Take a breath in. Reach up through your left arm. And as you exhale, slowly slide your right hand down, doesn't matter how far, but be cautious of going forwards. You're better off to stay higher and stay open. Take the back of the hand to the back of the head, left hand to the back of the head, and really breathe into that left lung. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, softly round round. You don't have to go far, as if you're pointing the left elbow forwards. And then as you inhale, open up again. Look into the left elbow, look to the ceiling. And again, exhale, wind, wind, wind round. And then inhale, open up. You may even find that you can go just a little bit deeper, but don't reach too far. Really just come to an easy edge. And then reach the left arm up and use the left arm as you inhale. It's the reach through the left arm that brings you all the way up. Hands to knees, take a breath. Close the eyes and sense and feel into that left lung, your lateral opening. Just awaken in our lungs so that we can breathe deeply and take more prana in as we move through our day. Let's swap legs so we straighten the left leg and bring the right foot into the groins. Again, it doesn't have to be right out here. You know, find an easy place, something that's comfortable and achievable and sustainable. Left foot flexes, you push the heel down so there's no locking in the back of the knee. Pelvis is balanced as we inhale, come up. Exhale, twist to the bent knee. Right hand goes to sacrum. Left hand comes to the inside of the knee. Breathe in. Push just the back of the hand into the knee so you find a little bit more rotation as your navel points towards your bent knee. Inhale, right arm reaches. And as you exhale, slowly slide down just to where it's comfortable. Take the hand onto the back of the head, cradle the back of the cranium. Breathe in. Can you draw the navel in and rotate the navel to the ceiling, taking the right elbow back? And as you exhale, come round, pointing the right elbow forwards. And as you inhale, open up again. Exhale, roll round. And inhale, open. You might even find that you can come a little bit further down, but not in the case where your elbow comes forward. You really want to stay open. Maybe inhale, you could straighten your upper arm. And then reach out through that right arm and draw the right arm away so that arm brings you up. And exhale, bring your hand down to the side body. Hands to knees, settle with the breath. And then slowly.
slowly bring both legs in feet together the tendency to rock onto your back of your sit bones so I want you to really think about rocking onto the front of your sit bones pushing your feet together drawing your toes apart Hands can come to the floor, not rounding the spine. Maybe you need to be here. And it's really this rock through the pelvis. Push the feet together. Elbows lifting. Draw shoulder blades drawing together. Neck nice and long. And then slowly inhale, come all the way up. Lean back. Bring your feet into um, knees into temp position. Just simply take the knees to the left and take the right knee to the floor. And just rocking through the soles of the feet. Keep the feet nice and active. There's a connection between the inner feet and the groins and the outer lateral feet and the outer hip that we've been working with. And slowly come back to center and you have a choice to either sit into a cross leg position here or to come into Virasana which is where you take your feet back you can even take a brick for this pop a brick in between your feet and sit your bottom down onto your brick sit up nice and tall through the spine Just feel the shins rooted down, the thighs, weight of the pelvis, and the uplifting motion from the lowest vertebrae of the back up through the lower back, up through the front of the thoracic spine as the collarbones are buoyant, back of the neck, chin slightly comes down. And just settle with the quality of your breath. Feeling the breath move into the chest cavity, laterally underneath the arms, into the back, into the front, and up into the collarbones. Let's take a little viloma here, is when we break the breath, into tears. So breathe in maybe 50 or 60% of your capacity and pause the breath. And then inhale the remaining part of your breath. And exhale completely. So taking that again a few times, just pausing the breath. 50% or 60% capacity, be led by your breath. Stay super relaxed, shoulders soft as you pause and then breathing to capacity. And then exhale. And we're just filtrating the prana down into all of the nadis nourishing and nurturing the body and this really is a time after practice where we reap the benefits the rewards of practice and then just sent, let, gently let go of any control over the breath Let the breath, let her run freely. Mind clear. The body renewed. And the breath smooth, easy. Sense of vitality in your being. Sense of clarity. 
we pause here. Awake to celebration, awake to pain, awake to the day as it is. Awake to wishing the day was different, awake to vastness and constriction, awake to fear and ease and suffering, awake to infinite silence, awake to the confusion cacophony of the conditioned mind, awake to seeking and the end of seeking, letting it all be, letting it all in, this is me. Bring the hands into prayer. Take a moment to bow your head and curl the corners of your mouth up. Awake and ready to meet your day just as it is. Take this last moment to honour yourself to coming to practice waking up. Take a few blinks with the eyes down onto the floor as you come all the way back into life, into your day. Lift your chin. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Please subscribe. I think there's a button down there somewhere. Please subscribe and do make a comment and um, your comments are really grateful. It helps to guide me on how I can best serve you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.